Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my lovely private island here in Wild Horse Islands. I worked on this pretty hard so I hope that you guys enjoy it and can maybe get some inspiration from it or yeah just see what I ended up doing. Um, so to start over here, I guess we'll start at my market stand since it's like right here. Um, as you can see, I recolored it. I colored it gray and white, and then I also placed some fountains. I scaled the one in the middle to be, like, the largest, and the two side ones to be the smallest. They're obviously not lined up perfectly, because it's actually really difficult to place things here on an iPad. Like, it's really, really difficult to do so. Um, and then I also placed some string lights over there, and then along here and along the other side. And then I also put my apple basket right here. Um, so, you know, you can go ahead and trade in apples. I don't have any right now. Um, but yeah, that's my market area. Let's go ahead and move towards my main island. It is a mailbox. Yeah, beautiful mailbox. And then I placed a lot of trees. My place looks quite foresty, very full, and I like the look of that. Like, I felt like it was kind of empty without it. You can go ahead and go through the gate. And then, as you can see, we've just got some trees. I put a couple lamp posts. I wanted to put more lamp posts throughout my place, um, but I did not buy enough of them, and I haven't been able to find any of the same color again. So, yeah, that's been great. I suppose I'll head this way now. Oh, and also, I've also been trying to get some bushes, because at the front of my island, um, you can see there's benches, and I was going to put bushes on either side. Um, but I haven't found them in the shops yet. I've seen them, but I haven't gotten any yet. So we're going to have to keep our eyes out for some bushes to decorate the front over there. And then over here, we've got a indoor arena. Now there's nothing really special in my indoor arena. Um, it's just an indoor arena. And then there's also a tree sticking out over there. It's kind of bothering me, but I can't, same with over there, but you can't pick up your stuff, you know, like you go here and you have no idea where this tree is on the map because they all look the same. But anyways, that is my indoor arena. Nothing special in there yet. I might do something in there in the future. Um, I also put a little post outside over here if you want to tie your horse. And then let's go ahead over this way. Over here, I wasn't really sure what to do with this space, so I decided to make it like a jumping place as well as um, for barrel racing as well. So half of it um, has some barrels that you can run around um, with your horse over here and I also put some little lights around as well so you can go ahead and do that if you want and then there's also some jumping things here I got the fancy ones when they were for sale so they're of a variety of materials you can go ahead and do some training over here I thought that that was nice and then, yeah, there's some of my horses, and I also put some string lights here, however, I kind of regret placing them there, I feel like it's a little bright, but once again, I'm scared to unplace them, because I have a lot of string lights, and I don't want to have to replace them if I accidentally pick up the wrong one. So that's a feature I hope gets improved in the future of Wild Horse Islands, but anyways, coming over here, you can go ahead and see my pasture, we'll move on to the pasture. Um, I placed a bunch of hay bales here, and then I also got some mini um, little huts for your horse and some water. And then I have a large one over there. I need to get another one for right here, as you can see it's kind of blank. I only have one right now though. Uh, my sister got it for me, and she got one for me and one for her, so I will have to keep my eye out for another one of those. But yeah, that is my pasture. It, I feel like it's kind of empty. I, but uh, at the same time, I feel like it's kind of supposed to be that way. So we'll see what happens with that in the future. But anyways, let's keep moving along here. If we head over in this direction, um, we come across another gate. You can open that. And then in the gate, we have some picnic tables and um, some string lights there. And then we have more string lights and a nice little campfire. And then over here we have another post where you can tie your horse if you want to tie your horse there. Then go sit at the campfire. I think it's nice. And then I also have a well right there. So, yeah. This is my place. I'm actually really happy with how it's turning out. There's not a whole ton of decorations to use at the moment, but I think it looks pretty good so far. Over here, this is just my normal farm. I need to harvest these crops. But I also put a fountain here. 
I thought it, like, I felt like it was kind of empty, so I'm like, we'll just, we'll just place a fountain. A fountain will fill up the space. So, that's what we got going there. I was debating on placing, like, another gate here, but I decided against it because it just, it didn't fit right when I was trying to place it. Um, so that is that. And let's go ahead and head on over here. So there's not, like, a direct path, but, like, uh, this was supposed to be meant to be a path, I guess. But if you go over here, we have um, a cross-country course that I made um, with some of the cross-country jumps. So, yeah, you can go. I'll just run the loop. I have some wind turbines on the side over here. I placed three of them. They're kind of hard to see with the trees blocking. And I also put a windmill, like, over here. You can kind of see that structure. But I put a windmill. And then let's just keep doing our cross-country course that I made. I had it go up here. And then I also placed a dark red silo over there. And then that's the end of my race. It's kind of a short race. And then I put a little sign that says race finish in case people were confused and were like, oh, so it, it, it just ends? Yes. Yes, it just ends. So that is that. And also, I forgot to show you guys... I just kind of cut in here, but I forgot about my secret cave over here. So on your island, there is a cave if you go towards the back. Oh, and I also forgot, I also added like some beach umbrellas along the beach in the front over there. Not too important. But if you go over here to this broken bridge and you continue on, as you can see, I placed some stuff over there. I put a little um, archway. Um, just a little entrance, and then I have some more string lights and another fireplace in this little cave over here, so this will just be, like, a secret hangout, which is pretty fun. I thought the string lights were cute. It's, once again, very bright. You really can't see anything. Um, but anyways, next up, I'll be showing you guys, uh, my horses. Um, these are the horses that I currently have in my pasture. I generally try to keep event horses in my pasture. However, um, Chelsea over here, she is this girl, um, she's not an event horse, I, I don't know why she's there, but she is, but the rest of them are just some various event horses, same with Juliet, I don't know what Juliet's doing in there, honestly, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of her tech, even though I made it, but, yeah, um, this is my island, very foresty, very tree-like, I'll just, uh, show you the inside as well. Um, so over here I put a little doghouse because I thought that might be cute. Um, but yeah. And then, oh, I had string lights here. I accidentally misplaced my string lights the other day. So we'll just like replace those. There we go. And by misplaced, I mean really badly misplaced. So I really just had to go rip up all my string lights. So we have string lights there. And then we have string lights over here. And then you can see some of my horses. We have Watermelon, Dove, we'll pick up Meringue real quick. We have Jack, we have Autumn. I kind of moved my uh, fall and Halloween horses into the stalls and then took out some of my winter ones to use for winter. We have Maeve, um, this is my graveyard Mustang. I ended up naming her Maeve. We have Harvest and I also got him a copper saddle pad because I was missing one for him for a while. We have Sprinkles. Sprinkles is over there. She's kind of sticking her head through a wall. Silly Sprinkles. And then we have Riptide, and I also gave Riptide kind of a tack makeover. I dyed her mane and tail weather fade, and I put this little dolphin on her, and as well as this uh, sapphire kayak paddle. So she got a bit of an upgrade, so that's nice. That's Riptide. Over here we have Crypto. That's what I ended up naming him. He's our fiend Frisian. Over here we have Reyna. She's our lovely rainbow fjord here. Over here we have Pumpkin. She's our Pumpkin Pertron. Then we have Callie. And I did dye Callie's mane and tail. Pumpkin Spice Fade. I don't know how I feel about it. I was trying to match it with the foxes. It, it's fine. <laughs> Callie's Callie. And then we have Lavender over here. She's an Andalusian with like a bee tack set, which is cute. And then we have Butternut over there. She's a silly girl. Hey, Butternut. <laughs> Just, I love her name as well. I just feel like it's so fitting. And then over here we have Daisy, and she is a paint horse. Um, I tried making her beautiful, so we dyed her mane and tail, uh, flax and fade. I actually think it looks really nice, and then we gave her a Daisy tack set. So I'm really happy with how she's looking. She's a pretty paint horse. And then over here we have Lime. He's over there. 
It's got watermelon green tack. We have Cloudy over here. And then we have Red Riding Hood. There's Red Riding Hood over there. Kind of see her. Yep. So, anyways, that's all that I have for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my uh, Stable Island tour. I definitely still have a few edits to make, you know, adding more street lamps and some bushes. Um, but yeah, this is basically the majority of it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my tour. Subscribe for more Wild Hose Islands content, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.